Why are you up? I had a nightmare. It freaked me out. About what? I was lost. Surrounded by these giant crystal trees. We want to restore your DNA to what it was. So you can return to your life. But we don't have the ability to do that yet. So any information you give us will help. Why do you want to infect others? Do you think you're improving humanity? Are you trying to destroy us? Do you even know? The glass trees in my dreams. What do they mean? Is that where the alien probe comes from? You appeared to me in a dream before we met at your military school. You know that? All right. Is there anything we can get you to make you more comfortable? Different books? I know you can read. You have all the memories and knowledge of Brian Janklow before the infection. give up on you. See you tomorrow, Brian. This is nasty. I was hoping that smell was from Fenway's lab coat. Poppy's Pizzeria should be sued for false advertising. Well, did that other place up the street close? To us it did, thanks to Caffrey. What are you talking about? Her maniacally detailed pseudo-fascist threshold plan. Under its strategies for remaining covert, it says we can't get delivery from the same restaurant twice in three months. Covering all the bases is her job. I think before that alien object arrived, Molly Caffrey had a lot of time on her hands. And now we're paying the price. Afternoon, gentlemen. Hi. What's up? Well, data miners got a hit. A bunch of callers on a Rhode Island radio show claim to be having dreams about glass trees. The ones you and me and Kevin all have? Same imagery. So they've had some sort of limited exposure to the alien signal, too. Well, we need to go confirm that. This is happening all the way up in Rhode Island? Yeah, a small coastal town. This will take priority over your other projects. I hear New England pizza is excellent. Why are you hitting me? Great. What's that? Bad news. Blackwood Institute's Molly Caffrey is spearheading medical research into the genetic immunity of adolescents for a program called Threshold. This is classified information. Read on. Considering that Dr. Caffrey is an administration darling, tongues are wagging that Threshold may be a way for the president to leave a humanitarian legacy, a military weapon that doesn't harm children. Weapons. At least she didn't mention aliens. Yet. You know how leaks work. Information starts with a trickle, then builds to a wave. And how'd she get this? Clearly, from someone in this building. I uh, spoke to the radio host in Rhode Island. I said I was a public health official, wanted to make sure the glass tree dreamers were okay. Yeah, I got the names and numbers of all the locals that called in about the dreams. There are 10 of them. Good work. You said this was a coastal town? Braxton, on the east shore. Ocean currents from the Bighorn explosion reached the eastern Rhode Island beaches. So maybe one of our missing crewmen washed up there. Well, it's certainly possible. There's still four in the wind. Kavanaugh and I are uh, dealing with an internal matter. Can you two run lead on this? Yeah. Sure. We can handle it. Thanks. Oh, and we've got IDs for you from the Center for Disease Control. Investigate this as a non-deadly virus. Update me. Be careful. Make sure you're armed. What? Wait. You mean, like, carry a gun? You developed the ammunition. Stunning the infectees is the most humane thing we can do. It's still, handguns, it's not me. It, it ditto. You know I'm a lover, Caffrey, not a fighter. Then make sure you take enough agents with you. Keep them close. 
We've underestimated the alien infectees before, and we're lucky to live to not tell about it. We'll be careful. Right. Did you finish the security diagnostic? Did the entire building. Phone lines are secure. How about ourselves? Every red team cell member uses the frequency that Luke has devised. It's untappable. We also made sure no spaces within the building are being surveilled. And you included the elevators, restrooms, parking structure? Of course. And our ID access scans haven't been compromised. Let's reach out the visual observation from outside. <clears throat> this is what anyone looking in our window sees. You said this is not a loop? No. It's a real-time feed from an insurance company in New Jersey. So there is no way anyone could be spying on us? No way. I know you'd rather be looking for an outsider, Molly, but... Uh... I get it. It's an inside job. I've triple vetted all of our agents, and I will vet them again. No, I don't think it's an agent. We're a lab tech. We're a data miner. And they don't have the information to leak. Remember this entry? It's what was quoted in the paper. Adolescent immunity to the alien signal from our little caper at the Weymouth Military Academy. Only the red team members and the national security advisor have access to the evidence tree. So... The leak is one of us seven. What is it? An intruder tried to push past security downstairs. They got him in lockup. Was he armed? No, sir. Who are you and what are you doing here? Senator Tolman. Dr. Caffrey. What's going on, sir? After reading the paper this morning, that's my question for you. The dream was really vivid the first night, not so much the last few. I didn't even dream last night at all. Blood works fine. Excuse me for, for a minute. Uh, <clears throat> so if they're not infected, can't we just send the goons outside? I mean, they're making me nervous. Yeah, might allow these people to speak more freely. Hey, do you guys mind waiting outside for a minute? Sure. Thank you. No problem. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> CDC always send this much muscle for a virus? Well, our attitude is it's better to be safe than sorry. Well, I don't understand. I feel totally fine. Yeah, me too. Well, we think it's a new kind of virus. The, uh, the feel fine virus. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah. These guys are clean. Some elevated brain waves, but uh, no mutations. Same with mine. Now, when did your two start having the dreams? Four days ago. Uh, my guys, one week ago exactly. Did they tell you where they went that day? Yeah, they're clerking at a convenience store here in town square. It was an ordinary day. They live on opposite sides of town. Yeah, this woman says uh, she went to work in the next town over at an architecture firm. He took the day off, stayed close to home, worked on his truck. My guys ate dinner at a place down by the beach. Uh, Eddie's Clam Shack. Yeah, so did mine. Threshold's funding was an earmark on a military appropriations bill. Senator Chambers admitted to me that he tacked it on as a favor to the National Security Advisor. You bamboozled me. We didn't mean any disrespect. Project Threshold is a highly classified operation. Doesn't matter, Andrea. As chairman of the Appropriations Committee, I am legally bound to see every appropriation, every expenditure that goes through my committee, including classified operations. There is a uniqueness to this project, Senator. Doctor, everybody says that about their pork. From bridges to nowhere to my personal favorite livestock museums. I can assure you that Threshold is not a livestock museum. It's not good enough, JT. I'm looking at a $30 million expenditure, and I am answerable to the taxpayers, as I should be. You should have called me instead of trying to bully past reception. Andrea, frankly, I wasn't sure you would be straight with me. I wanted to see things myself. Making a scene could have compromised our security. You went about this the wrong way, Will. Keeping me in the dark on this project compromised the law. JT, Molly, I have to ask you to excuse Senator Tolman and me. Okay, thanks. All six other dreamers ate at this place. Man, I was afraid an alien infectee was behind this, but what if the fish being served at this restaurant have been genetically mutated by the signal? Human ingesting of alien infected animal life. 
Can you imagine the possibilities of that scenario? Don't sound so excited, Dr. Frankenstein. Guys, run with this. I mean, what if we find a bunch of mutated fish at this place? What do we do? Shut it down. Shut down every dock, fishery, grocery store, and restaurant selling fish from northeastern waters. Oh, that's all. Well, what choice do we have? These people are presumably having dreams from eating one meal. What if they ate multiple servings of infected food? The cumulative effect would be devastating. Well, there is a silver lining here. I'm no longer hungry. I follow Board of Health regulations to the letter. This isn't about cleanliness. We're tracking a virus. If we find out it's not foodborne, you can reopen. Well, can you please hurry? I mean, news like this, it's going to spread like wildfire. What exactly did you buy from local fisheries? Everything but the salmon, uh, the shrimp, and they're all reputable dealers, too. Every person suffering from this hallucinogenic virus ate here. Yeah, well, I eat here every day, and I'm fine. What's going on? Oh, these guys are feds. Say we're giving people food poisoning. Are you kidding? You can eat off that floor. What's your name? Jake Singleton. You been having any strange dreams lately? No. Why? I'm gonna need to take a blood sample from you to make sure you're healthy. Sure. Let me lock the back door and I'll wash up. We're closed. I need to talk to you about the dreams. <sighs> Looks like we got another. Hi. Uh, Daryl Brown, Roxton Dispatch. Here we go. We've been getting calls that there's been some kind of viral outbreak, and this is ground zero. Uh, you know what? That's just speculation at this point. Oh, you're with the CDC. Yeah, but let's listen. Six CDC officials. Mr. Brown, we're going to have to ask you to leave. Lucas. <sighs> let's go. Come on. You see? I'm the one that's having a nightmare here. All I wanted to do was feed people. I saved all my cash. I took cooking lessons. I designed this place myself, and now this. We're sorry. If there's anything we can do to help you... You can't. Knock it off. The clerk's taking an awfully long time washing his hands. He's gone. Yeah, well, shift ends at 7. So why'd he run? I don't know. Maybe he's taking a cigarette break. The stuff's over there. We may not be looking for fish after all. The hands on his watch bent into the fractal pattern. I've never divulged a source before, and I won't now. Even if it's a matter of national security? Your job is national security. Mine is informing the public. I could cite the Patriot Act. I could cite the First Amendment. Wouldn't keep you from going to jail. Then so be it. Be better than losing my credibility and destroying my career. This isn't Watergate, Janet. It's a small, blind item of speculation. We wouldn't be sitting here if this wasn't significant. I can promise you not to print anything else about your threshold project if you give me an exclusive can't do that. Did your source say that Threshold was a weapons program? No. From the limited information I got, I made an educated guess. Dr. Caffrey, most of your think tank papers have been published, but Threshold is one of three you wrote that are classified. How'd you know that? When the administration used your plan for the Zimbabwe uprising, you became an important person in this town. I've done my homework. So are the other two classified plans weapons proposals as well? I came here to get information, not to give it. Well, then, you're buying me lunch for nothing. The entire hill's buzzing about this press leak. We're in the process of plugging it. Good. How'd you handle Tolman? I swore him in as a threshold confidant. Why? He threatened to take the matter to the Senate floor. So it was either take him in or all of Congress. What does he know? The basics of events and your plan. He has full security clearance. You're to give him a tour. Full security clearance? E even the Vice President and Joint Chiefs don't have access here. Unlike other projects, he can't send auditors here. He needs the ability to see things firsthand. So, uh, I have another boss. Yes. He's waiting for you in the lobby. Naturally, I was astounded at what Andrea told me. This signal, what are the effects besides strength and endurance? The genetic drive to infect others. It's, uh, Extremely dangerous. Enhanced strength. I bet the military would love to figure out how to achieve that. Our focus is on assessment, containment, and uh, reduction of the threat. We're a long way from determining any medical applications for what we're finding. With additional funding, maybe we could expand your focus. Possibly. 
This is the med lab run by Dr. Nigel Fenway, former NASA medical director. This is where we do our research into gene mutation, looking for a vaccine or hopefully someday a cure. This is our bio lab, also run by Dr. Fenway. These guys are on overdrive. They were exposed to the alien signal in the Bighorn Naval Freighter. They look normal. But infected humans do too, don't they? Yes, except for those who have a bad reaction to the signal. They uh, deform and die. Hmm. I want to see one of your infectees that you have in detainment. They're downstairs. He's just a kid. He's a full-blown alien infectee and very dangerous. What are those metal balls on the floor? Food trays uh, from today's breakfast. Can I speak with him? Go ahead. He won't respond. I try every day. Good morning. Morning, son. I'm Senator Will Tolman. How are you? I miss my family. Do you know your name? Yes, sir, of course. I'm Brian Janklo, freshman squad leader at the Weymouth Academy in Virginia. What happened to you, Brian? Well, some sound made me do crazy things. I'm okay now. But they don't believe me, and they won't let me see my family. They say you're very sick, son. I'm not sick. I feel great. Then why do you think you're in here? Because she's jealous that I can do this. All I ever wanted to do was fight for my country. Maybe we can help you, son. Thank you, Senator Tolman, sir. Will you talk to me later, Brian? Well, of course, ma'am. You know I welcome your visits anytime. Keeping that boy here is totally unacceptable. That boy tried to kill me and infect millions of people with the alien signal. Yeah, I heard the story. He's extremely deceptive, Senator. That's what the servicemen said about the captives at Abu Ghraib. There's no abuse going on here. Janklo is fed well and receives regular medical attention. What does his family think? That he died accidentally at his military school. Our goal is to restore his DNA. And when does that happen? I don't know. In the meantime, does he ever get to see the light of day? We're building a larger facility for the infectees, but right now our biggest concern is keeping them away from the general population. If the public ever saw this. We are protecting the public. You said so yourself, Doctor. All they're trying to do is convert others. We could say the same thing about Jehovah's Witnesses. We don't lock them up. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Handling this development is a big responsibility, Dr. Caffrey, but I fear that you may be in way over your head. <sighs> Janklo finally spoke. Played Senator Tolman like a pro. You think Tolman's gonna be trouble? Oh, from the start. Then I called him stupid. Are you kidding? Do I look like I'm kidding? <laughs> I must have missed the insulting senator's part of the threshold plan. Did you get anything out of the reporter? Decent cop salad. How'd you do? Well, thanks to you keeping her busy, I had plenty of time to copy the note she keeps in her apartment. Felt kind of bad about it. Janet's a good reporter. Yeah, it's better than locking her up. Look, I have something here you're not gonna like. Her note's from the 21st. Threshold, M. Caffrey, med research on adolescent thymus immunity. Or NF. And the only NF I know around here is Dr. Nigel Fenway. I'm not gonna be able to give you any answers anytime soon. I've got six local fish samples to test. I've also got all the other foods and the beverage canisters. What's going on? We have a leak. Someone's been speaking to a reporter about Threshold. Someone on the red team. You think it's me? You have to ask. Asking everybody? Oh, come on, Fenway. You've been our biggest critic. That's right. I think it's foolish not to ask for global help in tracking these alien infectees. I also think it's the public's right to know about the threat they're facing, but that's not my call. I, this is just great. I'm trying to do a job I didn't sign up for in a town I can't stand. Alimony piles up for three ex-wives and now I'm being accused of treason. Maybe it was an accident. Do you know a reporter named Janet Tam? I never heard of her. But it wouldn't matter if I slept with her. I'd take my classified status seriously. So either lock me up or let me do my job. 
Hey, we're not through with you. Wait. I don't think he did this. Why not? He hasn't stopped criticizing us since he came here. Exactly. He's not the type to stab in the back. Fenway stabs in the front. Okay, okay. Play it your way. But if you're wrong, he will be locked up. There's no one here. Open it up. The manager of this flea bag motel says Jake the busboy has been living here two weeks. That's when the bighorn sank. Yeah, but he doesn't match the pictures of our other crewmen. Yeah, hello, operator. Uh, this is federal agent number 55676. Can you tell me the last number dialed from this phone and when? Thank you. The drawers are completely empty. There's a sock on the floor. It's got packed in a hurry. Yeah. Thank you. He phoned the bus station 15 minutes ago. OK, uh, guys, get down to the bus station as soon as you can and pick him up. This guy might be an infectee. Right. We should stay here and see what else we can find. Right. Whoa. What? Is this blood? Wow. I'd hate to see what was in this. Or who? Oh. Put that down. I knew you were here for me. Not some disease. And I know exactly who you are. Once I can't see four hands, I'm gonna start shooting until I'm empty. We just came to see if you were all right. Yeah, right. Do I look stupid to you? Don't say it. Look, we're from the Center for Disease Control. Check, check our IDs. We wanna make sure you're okay. You know I'm not okay. You poisoned me. You're making me have some dreams about being in a glass jail. But I am not going to jail. No, we don't wanna put you in jail. That's not blood on you, is it, Jake? Poison dye, you know that. See, now I get it. You you robbed the bank. They put an explosive dye pack in with the money, and then it went off, and you ran, and, and you took a job at Eddie's until you figured out what to do about getting the dye out of the money, and, and, and then the dream started. Shut your mouth! Put down your weapon and exit the building. Great. Cops. Did one of you call him? We got our hands up. I can't dial with my ass. You think maybe shooting a gun off in a motel room got their attention? Are you trying to be a smart mouth? Absolutely not. You blew it with Tolman, kid. I know. How bad is it? He wants to move infectees under the Pentagon's watch. Well, the Pentagon doesn't know anything about this genetic mutation. He said you could teach them. I, I don't think his motive for this has anything to do with humanitarian concerns or with what I said. Nor do I. I've always been wanting a place in the Defense Department for a long time, and he sees this as a way in. What should I do? Nothing for now. I'm flying with him to L.A. tomorrow for a conference. I'll talk to him. I appreciate it. Little did you know when you became my advisor in grad school, it'd be a lifetime assignment. Well, I'd say you can thank me when you get your award. But I don't think they give them up for what you do. <laughs> How are you doing on the leak investigation? We've got some information that points to Dr. Fenway, but I don't believe it's him. Don't let friendship cloud your judgment. Mm. We're not friends. You six have been through a lot together. You can't let your desire to protect one individual risk the other six billion. What's well, special today? Mistrust with a sign of insult. How is the fish testing? So far, genetically sound. Good. I don't believe you'd leak classified information. <laughs> nice to hear. But I do need to track down every lead, and the one that led to you is significant. Help me clear your name so I can move on. All right. Someone spoke to Janet Tam at the Globe yesterday about your research into adolescent thymus development. Well, even my lab techs don't know that. Yeah, I know. You spoke to someone about it last Tuesday. Who? Only you. Where were you? You seem very sure this man was here that night. Nigel's here every night. 
He always tells me my coffee's too weak and we argue about baseball. Does he have a favorite seat? Second stool from right. Do you have a security camera? Nobody robs diners. Not enough cash. Any other regulars at night? At night, no. Molly. Excuse me. Look. A bug. Yeah, very state of the art, but not one of ours. There's friggin' reporters out there now, too. You know, I, I can give you the name of a compound that will remove that dye without harming the money or your skin. Well, I'll tell you what, Mr. Scientist. I'm only gonna take one of you with me, so why don't you give me the name of that compound? And it will be you. Why would I want to be your hostage? Because the other one of you is gonna die. Bio box sprint. Thanks, partner. You know, murder will only add to your sentence if you get caught. If I get caught, I'm going away forever anyway. I've got a wife and eight kids. Nobody that wears nice shoes has eight kids anymore. That's a good observation. You know, well, that's, that's gonna be the police. And if you're really planning on taking me with you, you should tell them over the phone, rather than through the window where they might be able to shoot you. What? what the hell happened? Electric shock. You were armed the whole time. Dr. Caffrey's orders. The problem is I calibrated these stun shells for alien infectees that the shock would kill a human, so I had to wait till he was touching something to partially conduct the electricity. I, I, I didn't want to risk it. You didn't want to risk it. Oh, how thoughtful. Okay Threat neutralized, officer. We're okay. Yeah. Hey, why aren't you picking up your phone? A uh, psychopath had us at gunpoint. <laughs> All the fish samples checked out fine. Well, what about the DNA on, on, on Jake the busboy's watch? Yeah, there were enough epithelials in his watch band. He's not an infectee. Okay, you know what? Do me a favor, Fenway. Run his DNA through the FBI criminal database. Sure. Where are you with the signal investigation? Square one. I found him. I'm moving in. Time for a confession, Father? Sorry. No. I'll just take a minute. No, no. Get off me! My bad. You already listened to somebody else. Yeah. What's this? It's not against the law to dress like a priest. No, it's not. Well, then why am I here? Because the guy who sold you the bug gave you up in three seconds. Buying a listening device isn't illegal either. True, but using one in D.C. is. We found yours under a counter, two blocks away. What do you want to know? Who hired you to follow Dr. Fenway? Paulo Fenway. His ex-wife? His third one. This is about alimony? In my racket, it always is. He's been real secretive about his new job, and she figured he was holding out on higher payments. I was just tailing him for her. That P.I.'s name is Nikki Frost, N.F. There's a coincidence. Ask Baylock to get you a cover story for Paula and the other people in your life. I'll do that today. How long was he recording me? Eight days. Our agents got all the tapes. There's nothing else on them about Threshold. <sighs> Thank God. I owe you one for believing in me. I need better than that, and you know it. You have to follow my protocols. I mean, you're supposed to mix up your routine, but you went to that diner every night? That's how you get spied on or, or kidnapped or worse. I realize that. I don't know anyone in this town. I, I work all day and into the night. The hotel is claustrophobic. It's, it's crawling with government goons. And I went to this diner just to breathe. Finally, I found somebody who could argue intelligently about bullpen depth. When I stopped hanging out with my friends or uh, even returning their emails, they thought I had cancer or something. So I convinced them I didn't. And now they think I'm seeing a married man. And I let them. Must be hard not to see them. Yeah, it is. 
But this way I know an alien infectee isn't going to track me to my Tuesday night poker game and kill all of them. Point taken. The protocols aren't my idea of a life either. But the alternatives are worse. I won't break them again. Good. You really not FBI? Do you think he could have made it through Quantico? I don't care. I'm not helping you. Dude, we're trying to help you. Okay, we don't have the virus. You do. And there's one thing we didn't tell you about it. What? The virus, the thing that's been causing your dreams, could be fatal. You gotta be kidding me. This sucks. I don't want to die. Then tell us about those dreams. I started having them when I went to work for Eddie. Every night after work? No. Just some nights. Any difference in your job routine on those particular days? Yeah. I washed the dining area down one of those days. Mm. So, <clears throat> steak was a bank robber. Why was he poisoning my customers? Uh, we don't think the two are related. So basically, I'm just the unluckiest bastard on the planet. Well, this week anyway. Hey, the upside is your food tested fine. <laughs> yeah, you don't get it. This town's enjoying two of the biggest stories of the decade. That my place is a disease pit, and that my bus boy's Clyde Barrel. <laughs> Pretty much sold my last fry clam here. Dr. Ramsey? This is where Jake's watch was sitting. Right. And we assume the disturbance came from Jake. Look at this. This is a portion of a ship's deck. Eddie, where did you get this wood? No, I found that on the beach. I told you I did the place myself in the interior. Look at this burn. It's an explosive residue. This is a remnant from the Bighorn ship. So the Planck's low-grade emission was strong enough to affect the brainwave. Making ordinary people dream like those who heard the signal for a short amount of time. How's Eddie, the owner? Bankrupt, but physically unaffected. I'll study his DNA, see if there are any clues as to why he wasn't. We want to transport this plank back to HQ. We're going to need some protective covering that Lucas made for your lab. How big is the piece? Uh, about six feet by two. Oh, no. What, you run out? No. One of my animal study CDs is missing. What is it? It's a copy of the alien signal. When were you last in the vault? Yesterday morning. All the CDs were there. Hey, Molly, when did you show Tom the lab? Mr. Arundum. You show him the vault? Yeah, but I didn't open it. Tom did. With his fingerprint access at 2.10 p.m. That's what you and Baylock are questioning me in here. He took the signal. Senator Coleman! Federal agents! What's that sound? It's coming from upstairs. Bedroom. You played the signal here. And she didn't survive it. The signal's power must have shorted out the CD player. No CD. Infected and on the loose of the signal. She obviously had a severe reaction to the signal. Melissa Boyer sent it in turn. How old? 21. This woman is dead because of me. You didn't kill her. Tolman did. And we have to find him. Well, it looks like he canceled all his appointments. What would your next move be if you were him? Get as far away from us as soon as possible. Spread the signal. He's supposed to be on a flight to L.A. with Andrea. I need four men at Ronald Reagan Airport flight hangar right now. Copy that. This is amazing. What? The crystals formed on this wood's plankton. They're identical to the glass trees I've been dreaming about. What does it mean? 
My guess is the signal changes the plant cells as well as animal genes. Terraforming as well as bioforming? Makes me glad we blew up that ship. But there'll be other pieces of debris out there with this life form on it. We'll tell Caffrey we'll track him down. This is a good find. What? Uh, totally switching gears for a second. I know we handled ourselves the best we could, but I, I can't stop thinking about poor Eddie. Don't. He, he put his life into that restaurant, and now he's, he's just gone. He lost it. I'm telling you, let it go. You know, Ramsey, you can be a real cold-hearted bastard, you know that? <laughs> I'm serious, dude. How would you feel if it were you? Lucas. I mean, you're the first one to complain about how Threshold ruined your life. Lucas, listen, Eddie's okay. What? Yeah, he's gonna be fine. Jake's real last name is Green. There was a $75,000 reward for his capture. I told the feds that Eddie turned him into us. Really? Really. Eddie's selling his place. He said the additional reward money is gonna help him get a piece of land he wanted on Cape Cod. You're kidding me. Not this time. I guess I owe you an apology. Please, don't. Wow. I went all action hero and you turned into Mother Teresa. Guess we surprised ourselves. Okay, back to your science, Starsky. The young woman is dead because of us. I was just trying to make a living. Tell your bosses. My bosses left your fate up to me. And I'm pressing charges. Felony wiretapping. Let's settle. The cops are on the way. Come on, give me a break. I'll give you a break? If you'd shown one glimmer of humanity when I told you someone died, I might have. Now I've got a date with a dead cat. Tell Paula I traded up. Ground control said the plane took off an hour ago. Our tracking system confirms it. Our guys just missed him. It's the ninth time I've tried Hatton. Still no answer. They also confirmed Tillman was on board. Get agents to Los Angeles to meet him on the tarmac. They're over Ohio. They won't land for four hours. I'm on it. Caffrey. Molly, it's Andrea. Andrea, you all right? Fine. You've been calling. What's wrong? Tolman's on the plane with you? Yes. And I spoke to him. Everything's going to be fine. He's infected. What? He, he, he stole a copy of the alien signal. He listened to it. Are you sure? Very. We just left his house. His intern is dead. Well, he seems pretty normal to me. But that means nothing. They, they can do that. Just play along with whatever he says. Okay. We'll have agents on the ground to meet you. That'll be impossible. We land in less than 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Where are you? We're over California. We left three hours early. Oh. Don't worry. I'll play it cool in case you're right. And I won't let him out of my sight once we land. Good. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through, excuse me, coming through. Tommy, I need to speak to the president. It's an emergency. Andrea said they took off early, that she was 10 minutes from LA. She lied to you. They're way off course. Ground control thinks they're headed for Mexico. If they leave the US, there's no way our agents can intercept them on the ground. The president says you should pull the trigger if you can't stop them. I want to try to reach the pilots again. Tried dozens of times. The pilots refuse to respond. They're ignoring their escort. They're infected, Molly. Like everyone else on that plane. Just one more time. Strike flight zero one. Initiate a call to the pilot. Stand by. Threshold command, negative response, sir. Strike flight zero one. Do you have a visual of the pilots? Threshold command, in contact visually with the pilots. They're alert, but will not respond. There are eight passengers on board, right? Tolman, Hatton, Senator Kramer, three aides, and the two pilots. Threshold command, flight zero two is in position. Feet went. Need to pull the trigger within six mics or board. Strike flight zero one. 
Bring it down. Roger that threshold command. Strike flight 01. Yes, ma'am. Use satellite to mark the strike for later debris retrieval. Roger that threshold command. 01 out. Best they could hope for is us keeping them in lockup indefinitely. Yeah. Yeah, remember that. And if it ever comes to it, I'm telling you now, I'd rather be dead. Anyone would. The reports will say that wind shear forced the plane into the Rocky Mountains. Caffrey. Molly, honey. I heard about what happened to Andrea on the news. I'm so sorry. Oh, Mom. You want me to fly in this weekend? No, it's okay. Just, um, just talk to me a minute. Of course. What would you like to talk about? I don't know. What's going on at home? 